Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about insoluble fiber and the food sources where we will find a lot of insoluble fiber. Now the first type that we'll make mention of is cellulose. Most of you have heard of cellulose. It's, it's the main fibrous component of plant cell walls. A lot of vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, kale, and cauliflower are rich in cellulose. Legumes, nuts, and bran from grains also have a lot of cellulose in them. And cellulose passes through the gastrointestinal tract pretty much intact and it binds to food components along the way, helping to propel them forward, warding off constipation. Cellulose does help to keep the digestive system healthy by feeding the gut bacteria and supporting their colonies. Cellulose is important, so try to eat as many whole plant foods as you can and you'll get some cellulose in there. Now we have another type of insoluble fiber called hemicellulose. Hemicellulose is a type of dietary fiber that can be soluble or insoluble. It's a non-digestible fiber that we find in plant cell walls and it has the ability to absorb and retain water in the gut. And so the, despite the fact that it absorbs water, it really doesn't have a lot of effect on the size of the stool, but it can be digested by our gut bacteria. It is sometimes found in foods as an added fiber or a thickener or an emulsifier or stabilizer. And we'll see green beans are high in hemicellulose and they're also found in cereal grains. Lignin is another type of insoluble fiber. It's also part of the plant cell wall structure and it provides rigidity to plants. It's also found in some seeds and again, like other insoluble fibers, lignin is not broken down by human enzymes and it's poorly digested by our gut bacteria as well. It does absorb water in the gut and gives bulk to our stool, so there is the importance in this stuff. Lignin can be found in whole grains like wheat and corn bran, legumes, vegetables like green beans, carrots, horseradish, cauliflower, peas, and even zucchini. It's also found in fruits like avocados and unripe bananas, peaches and apples, and nuts and seeds, especially flax seeds and Brazil nuts. It can also be found in edible seeds like those that we might ingest when we eat berries and tomatoes. I do hope this helps you out. I'll have another video covering the types of soluble fiber and their food sources as well. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Bye for now.